in this video we're going to focus on how we can create a very nice chart area that is basically from end to end of the entire canvas so we have this nice border radius here underneath as well so to do this the first thing what we need is our boiler template which you can find here on charts 3.com getting started once you're on here scroll down and copy this chunk of code and you're good to go next if you want to get the source code of this video and many others check out my patreon page and of course got a question join me on discord so to do this the first thing that we're going to do here is of course to have a line chart because we want to have basically the chart area from end to end and then what i will do is i'll just give it a filler so we say fill equals true and it will just get our default fill what i'm going to do now is remove these ticks here on the y scale and on the x scale so we have a nice clean scale let's do your x first nope not like that enter x there we are and then what we can say here is um grid we're going to remove the grid line to say display equals false I'm going to hide that and then i'll do the same for the y scale save that refresh that's one although that will not impact of course the sides so let's do that next so there's a comma here and then we're going to hear the ticks that's the one we want and we say here yeah, display false let's save that and refresh there you are as you can see here now the ticks are gone and don't realize if you do display grid or display false for grid the tick marks are also removed which is important for us of course so and if you don't know what i mean let's put it back you can see here these tick marks here they in they do impact of course the padding so what i'm going to do is I'm going to copy this comma here put it in there as well there we are so now what I would like to do is I have a border radius around here. So I'm going to go into the CSS and I'll just get here the ID of the canvas. We'll say here, my chart. And then what we can do here is the border radius. It's going to set the border radius, save that. There we are. So now let's see what we have. And as you can see here, we're still a bit stuck with some parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a negative padding on the layout so in the options we're going to say here layout and then we can see your padding and then i'm going to pinpoint the specific parts in this case let's see what we can do you can see a left right and bottom i will just get the left and bottom because the right side i will use a different trick so we're going to say here left and we say here will be negative 10 and then or I think it's eight to be exact. It's like eight pixel of padding there. And then bottom, negative eight. Save. Make sure you have a comma here. Save. Refresh. There we are. And as you can see here now, it is almost or it's still getting. And what's the reason for this? It's because it calculates this part here and there. I'm going to remove that as well now. So this is basically the point here that I want to remove. So I'm going to say here, comma and then we're going to say here the point radius that's being calculated as well or else will be clipped off so we set this on zero let's save that refresh and there we are now it starts to work nicely absolutely phenomenal what we could do because what about if you want to hover on this part how can you do this we could say here comma and you can say here hover point radius on hover we want to show it and let's give it a 10 pixel save that refresh and then if we go on here and i'm not even sure if it is but it's the point radius or it's the one of these anyway that is basically how we can play around with this and that's it